watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so for my topic, I know this is kind of like kind of beating a dead horse, and also we should We're address beating the elephant a dead in the room. horse. <laughs> yes, everyone get your whips oh God, out. I'm so ready. <laughs> I've been wanting to beat something for so long. <laughs> <laughs> everyone line out we're just gonna punch this carcass no um so we said we wouldn't really talk about the the rona <laughs> very much but uh i wanted to talk to you guys about uh what are some things that you had planned on doing that the rona ruins um and also like maybe My like Rona. a part b <laughs> part b is like how will you exit from this like what it will this change you at all will you plan or do things differently um so I'll go first. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Michelle and I had planned earlier or later this year. It was going to be in like July. We were supposed to do like a two week trip uh, where we visited a bunch of national uh, parks and monuments out west. And it was going to be really awesome. It was going to be like partially a camping trip. We were going to be on a tour bus with with some other people. We were going to cook our own food and hike and explore the west because i haven't really ever been out west and i've been planning this trip for like seven years <laughs> but we were just now financially stable enough to actually afford it and we were i paid the deposit at christmas and i was like yeah we're gonna do it this year and then this fucking happened and even though it's in july i'm pretty sure that we're just not gonna go um because even if this clears up by july i don't think work is gonna be mm -hmm. cool with giving us uh two weeks, two weeks off. off since we've had like uh, two months off basically yeah um so that's one thing that definitely has been ruined like a big thing that's been ruined i mean i'm not i don't want to be too complaining about it because obviously it's either like don't go on your trip or die so <laughs> 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 i would rather live but uh that's just one thing that i'm kind of like grumble grumble about and i think like moving forward um i'm gonna try and just like do think like i have this weird excuse of like i can't do this thing right now i have to wait until all these other things line up perfectly and they never do yeah. um i think going forward i'm gonna try to just do the fucking thing that i want to do and stop making excuses mm. so Brittany and i are both in that area because uh that's actually um we have like a bunch of little trips planned now for yeah. after uh quarantine ends mm -hmm. and whatnot and yeah. um like <clears throat> they're still uh they're well, still going out west they're just like little little trips instead of a two-week trip yeah right it'll maybe be like a longer weekend like yeah yeah i've never been to the pacific northwest um so we're planning on taking like an extended weekend and going and visiting like portland and seattle mm -hmm. and we have friends in both places yeah. so we're gonna probably stay there just and gonna save visit, some money we're just gonna visit some friends and say fuck it like let's just do it yeah hell yeah yeah like, there's, i there's, i think that's good and reasonable I uh, was, traveling means a lot yeah. to us and we've just never done it yeah traveling theoretically means a lot to you well we've done what we've done of it has meant a great deal to us. Yeah. You've got that live, laugh, love uh, <laughs> wall hanging, just waiting for you to like hit the tin city uh, threshold. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that you can level up and get the merit badge. Mm -hmm. mm. I understand. I was, so was supposed to officiate a wedding in early April. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And because of COVID-19, um, haven't been able to. Uh, they went ahead and got, like, courtroom married. Uh, and I, I'm not sure. They might be doing uh, another thing later to mm -hmm. just, like, have a party or whatever. Party. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was that was kind of frustrating. Because I was like, did you already get your like efficient license or whatever it is that you're supposed I, to so get? So I was working on that when it. I was working on that and writing my speech when mm -hmm. the lockdown started. Um, wow. Yeah, so I didn't like go the full route. I might still do it. Just <laughs> maybe I. Just for fun. I, I want to <laughs> do the math and see how much it would cost me to become uh, like a legal efficient in every single state in the United States. 
Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just so you can like do it anywhere you need to be. It needs to get done. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I like so it. that I, I like can sell like concept. a a team style service where I just hot drop into a city, marry some people, yeah. and then yeah. you bounce. <laughs> <laughs> you can just put your ad on Craigslist for like services. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a dream I can get behind. I'll put it under romantic <laughs> services. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ro- romantic services. Oh my god. <laughs> How about you, Hutch? What's uh, what's something that you uh, had to not be able to do? I all I can think of, aside from like some shows, um, mm-hmm. like uh, I wanted to see Lindsay Sterling. I think her thing is still canceled, or I think it might still technically be going on. I think it's in July mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah, but, I think that's in July too. Yeah, but uh. Her tickets are expensive, so I don't think I would have gone to see that solo. But uh, mm. what else? Uh, I was contemplating going to Mag Stock, um, mm. which I guess may still be on later on in the year potentially. It's been postponed yeah. to August. Yeah, we're thinking August is when they're trying to push it to. Mm. <clears throat> There's also a side thing for that Hutch that I think you'll appreciate even more is uh tanner is when quarantine is over because actually max Lock was going to be one of the big things that i was going to talk about too that i'm missing out on mm-hmm. uh but tanner is going to be hosting a uh max Stock mini in his backyard and uh at post plague and everybody's coming down to it so we're oh that's camp- awesome i didn't know about that yeah. oh, so it's just go all y'all it. and also uh <laughs> massachusetts or uh uh Maryland, so Maryland, yeah, Maryland, so Mar- Maryland, uh, yeah, boys. Maryland, Brian, and like John, John will probably Pope, come down too. Uh, Zach Star Wars. Well, um, I'll Chris. be sure to shit in the middle of uh, Tanner's bathroom, just on the floor, so that it will feel like real Max Stock. <laughs> 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 oh man, I can't wait. <clears throat> and I'll sit naked this. in a chair with twenty-year-old <laughs> Scotch. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get real I don't, weird. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see the problem. <laughs> He did just uh, build a brand new fence, so he's got a lot more privacy. Yeah, he's got that big privacy fence now. So, <laughs> oh, that's good. And, but he's also got a a really high powered water gun. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for the we slip can and have slide. as much lube there as we want to. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can tell me what to do. <laughs> we should get an industrial barrel of uh, like that powdered lube. Oh uh, yeah, the five thousand pounds. It's like a thousand dollars. And it's an investment in our future. We can do a GoFundMe. Buy one. We can do a GoFundMe. You got to keep it wet and slippery. I wonder if the Amazon payments are on it now. We could probably, like, if we do a GoFundMe, we can mail people, like, envelopes full of powdered lube. (laughs) I'm sure that's a great way to get the FBI to look into us. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for your contribution. Here is your piece of the pie. Just add water. (laughs) Yeah, it's like a a mass drop, but it's just powdered lube and Ziploc bags. (laughs) I think we should do this. <laughs> that should be part of our OnlyFans. We if we wanna... reach this level, we'll send all of you powdered lube. Yeah, if we make more than three thousand dollars a month, which is, I imagine, mm-hmm. what it would cost us to send anybody, like one to purchase, repackage, mm-hmm. and send out that much lube. Yeah, I think we should do it. We'll do it. <laughs> I think I've created a monster. Yeah, you have. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> so what Sexy, else, Hutch? What else monster. did you want to do? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it. Sorry, Hutch. <laughs> You're really good at making me inspired to tell yeah, you about Yeah, Hutch has the most shit. space. He's going to have to store this lube. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I can, don't, uh, I can, don't let I can, Juggle Boy get into it. I can, I can uh, <laughs> dig a further it. hole where the, uh, the pool used to be and just bury it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful. Should definitely do that. But, Make a but we'll, map. We'll, yeah, we'll put like a, a keg tap into it. <laughs> okay, perfect. It'll it'll be out of the way. No one will. Ah, know. damn it! Somebody over pumped the lube. <laughs> Imagine just getting a cup full of lube, like in a solo cup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then well, you just so- pour it on the other person. <laughs> Another small thing that I wanted to do that we had kind of talked about was when we would have like f- like friend dinner night where we would mm. go to each other's house and like cook dinner mm-hmm. and have like a family meal together. Yeah, we were uh, planning we had, on we doing had, that. 
Yeah, we had talked about doing that, and then we we didn't, and then the quarantine started. So we're absolutely we're like, absolutely going to do it Hutch, now. <laughs> guess what? We're bombarding your house post the, all of this, and we're cooking yeah. you food. So Hooray! because the market is <laughs> crashing, I'm I'm looking at maybe buying a house. Ooh. So I'm I'm I need to do a lot of due diligence and research to understand, and need to do it very quickly. Um, mm-hmm. But we're in the same we're in the same boat, but in a rental market. Mm. If if I if I get a place with reasonable space, we can always also do it okay. there. Okay. Hell yeah! I mean, I figured we would rotate. And yeah, because obviously everyone would help stay and clean up, so that's not like the burden of <laughs> <No>. hosting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just like a fun, like hey, like maybe twice a month we get together and yeah. cook dinner. Mm. So I think that's good. It was, it was a lot of fun. We used to do this. And we used to call it the Brodio. Mm-hmm. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't ever. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. But that's what happened Be- because we had friends who were weird. <laughs> yeah, it's back when mustaches were the in thing. <laughs> <laughs> mustaches and like so the seventies. <laughs> I had a goatee oh, at that time. Like that's how long you ago did. it was. Yeah, when I it I was so that. long ago that I thought a goatee was a reasonable look. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, those were the days, patch, man. So. <laughs> I did have a soul patch at the time. Oh, I can't, I can't, <laughs> sorry, Hush. I can't say shit. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry. I don't. I don't have one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your face looks like because I can't see you. <laughs> oh. D- imagine what an egg would look like. And just put a, a <laughs> mouth and uh, two eyes on it. And that's so have you gone full Eggman and grown a mustache? <laughs> no, no, I'm not God. that crazy. So we're like a three quarters Eggman. Yes. So mm. Hutch, I'm o- the only thing I'm sad about is the fact that you did shave off your goatee, but you didn't oh. leave a mustache and take a picture <laughs> mm. before you shaved the whole thing off. Yeah, I uh, well, it didn't go out that far. Um, yeah, it well, don't, ma- don't matter. I, so I did leave it to the point to where there was a soul patch. I should have taken okay. a picture then. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. Next think, time. Maybe next time. I'm sure you're going to grow out more facial hair at some point. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll maybe. see. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. As someone who uh, has decided to not grow facial hair ever again, that's fine. I have decided to grow facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Just fucking rude it of out. you. Why didn't you give your hair follicles to Brittany? You know what? Could transplant them. Try, we'll try it. I still got a few left. Yeah, just pop them out with like a pocket knife and stick them on her face. That's I'm right. just thinking of Arrested Development where the one guy got <laughs> hair plugs and they got infected. <laughs> and he was just like walking around with like his head was bleeding. <laughs> oh, wait, you mean this that is completely dis- curable if you just got rid of those hair plugs? <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> mm. That's... Uh, anyways <laughs> beautiful uh, but speaking of max stock one of the things that i was going to be doing a lot this summer i did it a lot last summer is for work i was going to be going to multiple conventions oh, yeah. of gaming conventions uh which gaming conventions are just dead this year they're done yeah. yeah i'm super glad that this was the year i decided not to go to any conventions with my own personal store mm-hmm. and i decided yeah. just to focus on the online aspect of it because everything's been canceled this mm-hmm. year I'm really glad that I'm not uh, that that wasn't my only means of income. Yeah, we got really lucky with Mega Manathon as well. Yeah, Mega Manathon got uh, canceled for this year, and we were going to do it next year just because we weren't prepared for it. Mm-hmm. But it just worked out that it was going to get canceled anyways. Like it'd be happening, like it would have happened this. Past it would have already have happened. Yeah. So and. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm extremely thankful that that is not the case. Yeah, it worked out. So, um, but I was pl- going to be going back to San Diego for the first time in ten years this summer, and mm. uh, I was going to be going to Comic Con for the first time, and I have a lot of friends in San Diego because I lived there briefly. Uh, but that I was going to be going there. I was going to be going to Portland. I was going to be <clears> going to Seattle, uh, and I was also planning on going to um, uh, Philadelphia. And all of those towns are like I have a lot of friends in those towns. Yeah. So I'm I'm sad I'm not going there. But like what uh, Brittany and I talked about earlier, we're going to go to a few of them on just on our own. 
And that will be better because we won't have to actually work. Yeah. It'll yeah. Be way nicer. So. Well, my um, because my lady friend uh, is in the costume player world and mm-hmm. uh, knows a bunch of costume players. There's there's this like growing trend of. Oh, I'm gonna give us five more minutes. There's a growing trend of we don't fucking need cons, and I, yeah. I think part of the problem is that cons have gotten kind of overblown or very expensive or just entirely <laughs> inconvenient. So now there are a lot of people who are just saying like, well, rather than hanging out for five thousand dollars, let's hang out for two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. 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 And well, that, I think that's that why works. I love it. If you know people, you already got an established thing. Right. And you're okay right. with like not partying like with a bunch of other people. Like it, it, it's a different vibe for sure. Yeah. Like, and I, I, th- th- I think that's the difference is if you have your community or, or like your group of friends, it's, it's easier to do that, but it's harder mm-hmm. to meet and meet new people and make new friends. Yeah. 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 I think there's a place for convention still. I also agree though that um maybe not so many and that's true for i think that's normal for like that's the normal situation for anyone who isn't going to cons for work right yeah. or going like if also you're, i feel like at some point in your life if you're a big con goer at some point if you've been to so many cons that the con offers just hanging out with these people that you know are going to be there Mm -hmm. at that point then maybe you can say okay well maybe we don't go to the con itself but we hang out like near it Mm -hmm. and hang out maybe we just be friends yeah Yeah. and i think it totally depends on the person and the particular con because some cons are very expensive and there's not a whole lot to do at them unless you're willing to spend a shit ton of money uh and then there's other cons that are like there's a shit ton of stuff to do and it's all free as long as you just pay for your ticket. The so. one the one benefit for working uh, for our company and being able to go to all these cons, I have now realized which cons I like and which cons I would never pay my personal money to go to. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it is definitely the large and in charge cons. I you do. should write up a review for like yeah. which ones are good to go to and which ones are good for like. Like hang out near it or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or or your next uh, video topic. That might be a good Ooh. idea. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll go through a list. I'll make it one one con at a time. Make it a review per con. Yeah. That'll be that'll be what I do this year to make up for no cons. <laughs> I'm really I'm really glad we got to go to Magfest. I'm sad I didn't get to go to Pack South or Pax East. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I'm mostly sad I'm not going to too many games and Mag Stock. I I think I've just gone to too many cons in my time. Like, mm-hmm. I I think they're fine and fun and interesting, but I mean mm-hmm. I'm not a big collector. I'm not rabid about a lot of the things that people go to cons for yeah no Mm -hmm. and i get that i honestly the only reason why i stated any of the cons i did is because that's the mass majority of where i get to see some of my friends yeah like i don't too many games is a fine little con and i like it too Uh, many games too many games (laughs) the reason i enjoy that con so much is because every night all of my friends sit in the parking lot of the hotel and we have a (laughs) rave party out in the parking lot and get drunk every night of that con that's a crime and it is public intoxication it is a crime it is a crime it is a legit crime but no one stops us Mm. and (laughs) and it is so you'll have to find a new crime for 2020 (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we're we're actually thinking about hosting a um, Discord exclusive LotCon this year. Thinking about hosting a crime. <laughs> Call it LotCon <laughs> colon digital. Digital LotCon. <laughs> Just someone blasting like DK64 music. Yeah. Uh, and then everyone's smoking weed. That's exactly what happened I'll last year. I'll bring the tampons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it will be great. <laughs> Half empty E tank proudly presents <laughs> a crime. <laughs> a crime experience. It's got to be multimedia. It's got to be three D, and it's got to be live stream. And probably I blockchain needs so to much. be involved just to hit all Somehow. of the right keywords. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we want to make sure we get that corporate uh, attention in there. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Oh, man, that kind of reminds me. So I bought Cooking Mama Cookstar physical this week because it's not available digitally anymore because of blockchaining. What? 
I oh, that, I don't think yeah. that game has actual mining software in there. It doesn't, but people claimed it and it got taken <laughs> off the uh, digital version of uh, Nintendo Switch so eShop. So I bought the physical version. Yeah. So so for those who aren't aware, like you, uh, you Jerry, so people were saying that when they <laughs> were... <laughs> <laughs> for dummos who don't know, like Jerris. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. No! <laughs> How am I the bad guy? I tried to be the information sponge. <laughs> You're always, somehow, Jairus always turns Hutch into the bad guy. I don't know how this happens, but That's it always the happens. That's fun because you're such a nice boy. I should grow a mustache and just start Ooh, twirling it. Evil Hutch? Yes. Oh my God, please. Well, let me tell you about this, eh? Yeah, but yeah, so people were saying playing that game, this, their Switch like gets really hot and the fan runs in, insanely. Uh, high and so they're like oh it's, it's running blockchain software or, or or data or bitcoin mining shit or whatever on it and Ugh, yeah, yeah. So, someone like uh, went into the code and was like no listen everyone knows that when you're making mom's spaghetti your palms get sweaty <laughs> that's true yeah also the game is just shittily made mm. and hey. it is <laughs> and that's why it runs so hot don't you talk about cookie mama that way oh, baby, <laughs> you don't know the full thing it's not the original team it's a, it's a licensed game, yeah. and like fucking off brand cooking mama mobile experience. It, Ugh. <laughs> also, on top of that, like the people who own the rights to it didn't sign off to all of the games that they did make. They only signed off to the uh, digital version of the Switch version, but they made physical Switch and PS4 versions. They should have let uh, Limited Run do it. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Half of the Limited Run staff owns a physical copy. It's really weird. <laughs> We're one of them. <laughs> Forever physical. One half? One half. Yeah, one half. All right. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for my segment. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing, guys. Wait, Did we win? What were we talking about time. again? We were talking about what are the things that the Rona ruined for us and how will we live our lives differently afterwards. <laughs> oh. That's right. That was so long ago. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>